Hey yo, what is up guys? So for today's video, I'm you guys a quick short guide on how to optimize Modern Warfare to get the best possible performance. Um, so first thing you want to go do is go to the download description below. You're going to find this file here um, on my drive. Just go ahead, download it, extract it to your desktop using either WinRAR or 7-Zip. I personally recommend 7-Zip. I'll have the download link for that in the description below. You're going to be met with three different folders in total. Cleanup, GPU drivers, and performance. Go ahead, open the cleanup. Uh, double click this. Basically, this is going to give you a shortcut to your temporary files. Go ahead, delete everything here. Go to the other temp folder, press Control A, right click, delete, do this, continue. Basically what this is doing is they're going ahead and cleaning out all the temporary files because these can have conflicting files and information um, that Modern Warfare uses and that can back up and cause issues, especially when there's new updates and such. It's good to just clear this out. Next thing I'm gonna do is go to here, remove background apps, double click that. Basically, go ahead, untick that, and that's it. Next thing I'm gonna do is go to remove startup apps, like this basically turn everything off that you do not need i don't need that i need these three on personally but everything else you can just leave off so you're gonna see this auto runs make sure to right click run as administrator this is a piece of software created by microsoft in order to remove auto start off programs click on the logon tab and just basically untick anything you don't need personally i don't need this um, i like to leave everything else i'm gonna leave these two on because i personally use adobe products but again this all depends on your personal use case. Please go ahead and untick everything that you do not need. Navigate towards the driver section. Here you want to basically uncheck anything that you don't need personally. But be very careful with this tab though because a lot of these drivers are necessary for Windows to function. If you guys untick one on accident, you will break your Windows install and this is not going to be a good time. So again, just make sure you Google each of these different ones if you don't know what it does. Every computer has different drivers. So for example, if you want to look up if something is running on your computer, like one of these drivers, um, go to command prompts. Right click, run as administrator, press yes, type in SE, query, and then for example, I'm gonna type in X Hunter one which is the name of one of these right here. Press enter. You'll see it tells you what kind of driver type it is, kernel driver, and it tells you that stop. Basically, I'm gonna go through here to see if they're running or not. Um, if you don't need them, turn them off. And you turn them off by just unclicking them or, or right clicking and delete. But again, just make sure you're very careful on this tab as you can break your Windows install. So that's it for the auto runs tab. Then click out of here. Next thing you want to do is we'll navigate to this. Basically, you want to make sure that you have uh, scale and output to 100%. Basically, the reason you want to have this is that you have it at a different value. You can have w weird Windows scaling issues, even if you're at 4K or 1440p like I am. Um, if you have it anything less than 100 or more than 100, you're going to have not one-to-one -one mouse input. That causes input lag and obviously latency issues. Um, so you really just want to keep that one-to-one. -one. Next, you want to navigate to the GPU drivers tab and go through here. Basically, what I want you to do is install a clean, fresh driver install. Um, these two... These two links right here link you to both AMD and NVIDIA drivers. So I'm going to go to the NVIDIA drivers. Go ahead, go to the web website, put in your info. For example, I'm running the 3080. Um, I recommend under this tab, make sure you have it on recommend and certified. Press search and get the latest NVIDIA driver and make sure you do a clean install. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video. I have a link in the description below on one of my other videos that shows you how to do this. It's a really simple process. I also have DDU include here to do a fresh install. It's super easy and super fast. Once it's done with that though, you want to make sure you go to this rebuild performance counters tab, right click, run as administrator, press yes. This will go through and this will basically reconstruct the Windows um, performance counters because sometimes they get corrupted over time. Next, you want to navigate to this MSI mode, right click, run as administrator, press yes. Basically, you want to go to navigate to wherever your NVIDIA driver is. Uh, basically, make sure MSI mode is ticked. Make sure the interrupt priority is set from undefined to high, press apply, and then restart your PC. What this does is it makes your um, NVIDIA drivers more uh, preferred in the interrupt priority chain, which means that it gets more priority over other drivers. Essentially, it's the basic lame's explanation of it. But yeah, anyways, make sure you have MSI mode on for your graphics card. Don't touch an MSI mode for any of these other ones if you don't know what you're doing, as you can cause blue screens on your computer and potentially ruin your Windows install. So again, just make sure you're only messing with the NVIDIA driver. Next thing you're going to want to go do is go navigate to the uh, NVIDIA control panel. I don't have any information on the what to do for AMD in this video, sorry, as I personally am running the RTX 3080. Um, it's basically just going to copy my settings here. Basically go to adjust desktop size position. Make sure you have no scaling on. Um, having your scaler on, uh, unless you have a display based one, can cause input lag and other latency issues. I'm saying just make sure you have it on no scaling and display if you have it here. Next, you want to navigate to adjust desktop color settings. Um, again, here you can set your digital vibrance. I personally put on 60 to help to saturate the game a little bit more. Next, go to change resolution. Make sure you have both these on your highest refresh rate possible. Um, so for me, it's 240 hertz. And then make sure you have use NVIDIA color selected. Make sure this is on its highest value here. And make sure dynamic range set to full and then press apply. Then go to manage 3D settings, copy everything I have here, 
Um, so if you're running a G-Sync, make sure G-Sync is selected. Make sure you have low latency mode, set that to ultra. If you're using a G-Sync, if you're not using a G-Sync monitor, set that to on. Next, switch it from optimal power to for maximum performance. Make sure their highest available is selected for preferred refresh rate. Change from high quality to high performance. This has no real visual difference. It helps to boost frame just by a little bit. Triple buffering, make sure that is off. Make sure threaded optimization is set to on. Make sure vertical sync is set to on if you have a G-Sync monitor. If you do not have a G-Sync monitor, turn that to off as that will cause input lag. But if you have a G-Sync monitor, you need to have this on to prevent screen sharing. So yeah, once you're done with anything, just go ahead, press apply, and you're done. You need to make sure that the Azeroth folder is extracted in your C drive for the next step to work. So again, just make sure it's here so the actual pathing works. Otherwise, for the next step, it will not work. Next, we'll navigate to the performance tab. Um, this will be pretty simple, basically. Go ahead and click this. And what this does, it's gonna install my power plan to your computer instead of active. Um, just make sure when you navigate that the power plan is set to mine specifically, and it should be. Oh yeah, this is a basically optimized BitSums power plan. Um, it's better than like any other Windows power plan that you can get even like the ultimate performance. So yeah, just make sure you have mine enabled. So next step we're gonna do is basically navigate to the registry tweaks, open it, if asked for admin, press yes. Basically, once you're here, just press yes, okay, and then you're done. If you're curious as to what these actual registry tweaks do, just right click, go to edit, and then you can go and look through these individually. So basically just disabling game bar and a couple other little basic tweaks to give you guys a little bit extra performance and prevent sluttering. Next step, you wanna to navigate to the intelligent standby list cleaner folder, enter it. Um, this is gonna ask for admin permissions. Go ahead and open it. It gives me this error because I already have it running in the background, but for you guys, it should open completely fine. Basically what you wanna do is once you first slot it up, make sure these two boxes are ticked and make sure that the free memory is lower than, set this to half of your RAM. So basically I have 32 gigs, so I set to 16355, and to get that value by multiplying 16 times 1024. For example, if you have 16 gigs of RAM, be 16 divided by two times 1024, press enter, 8192. That's what you would set your free memories lower than value to. This program basically clears your standby list cache and helps prevent stuttering in games. So I'd highly recommend to have this running at all times. Next thing you wanna do is navigate to your Windows settings, type in graphic settings, make sure you have hardware accelerated GPU scheduling turned on. This will give you a nice little performance boost. It used to not do anything on the older Windows builds, but if you're on the newer ones, such as Windows 2009, the latest one, uh, this actually does help to boost performance and reduce latency uh, just a little bit. So again, make sure you have this on. Next, you wanna go navigate to the gaming section. Make sure you have game bar turned off. Make sure you have captures off. Make sure you have game unenabled as this helps to boost FPS by just a little bit in your games as this prioritizes your games over other applications. Next thing you wanna do is navigate to your documents folder. Go to wherever you have your Modern Warfare installed. I have it here, go to players. Go to advanced options, double click it, set your video memory scale to 0.5 and set the cloud config storage enabled to zero. Leave render worker count default. Um, some people have issues with this, especially if you're on the newer AMD platform. For example, if you're on the 5600X, a lot of people had issues with this value being set incorrectly. So if you're on the AMD um, 5600X, set that to six. What this video memory scale setting does though, is basically sets the amount of VRAM that's allocated towards Modern Warfare. By default, this value is set to either 0.85 or one. This is gonna cause Modern Warfare to use up more VRAM than your GPU actually has, which causes stuttering and FPS dips. This was seriously an issue though in um, Warzone as well that caused a lot of FPS and stuttering issues. So again, just make sure this set to 0 0.5, press file, press save. Next thing you want to do too is right click, go to properties, make sure read only is ticked, press apply, press ok. And what this does is it prevents uh, Modern Warfare from overriding this file. So that's going to be it for the Windows site optimizations. Now we're going to go into the game and show you what settings I put there. Once you're done with those other changes, open up Modern Warfare, tab out, right click on Modern Warfare, go to properties, go to compatibility, then make sure you have run as administrator and uh, disable full screen optimization ticked and then press apply and then press okay. Once you're in game, go ahead and navigate to your graphics setting. Basically just copy everything I have here and make sure your game is in full screen as you don't want it to be in a window because that can cause input lag and uh, lowers your frame rates by quite a bit. Um, make sure you have VSync disabled. Make sure you have NVIDIA highlights disabled on um, that cost stuttering. Make sure you have enabled plus boost on for reflex low latency. Um, make sure you have text resolution on low. Make sure you have filtering on low, particle, make sure basically just everything on low. Also make sure when you have your settings set, don't go over the VRAM allocation. Um, otherwise you're going to have stuttering as you're using too much of your VRAM. 
and that'll overload your GPU and cause a lot of issues. Just make sure you're not going over that bar. If you're playing at lower resolutions with a bad CPU, such as like a Ryzen 3600, and you're pairing that with like a 1080 Ti, for example, you actually wanna go ahead and crank some of these graphics settings to put more load on a GPU and offset it from the CPU so that you're um, GPU bound, not CPU bounds. Otherwise you're gonna have um, low frame rate. So again, just make sure you have to play around with these settings as it varies from computer to computer, but just keep that in mind. Once you're done with everything too, I'd recommend going ahead and pressing restart shader installation as that'll help to uh, clear out the old files and make sure all your graphics settings stick. So that's gonna be it for this video. If this helped you at all, please don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe. Helps out the channel a lot. Anyways, guys, see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.